Hi, I'm Chris. This summer, VTA will be installing new fare boxes on our buses that will significantly improve your riding experience. Beginning in May, you may encounter these new fare boxes as part of our testing phase on a limited number of routes. Once testing is complete, we will install the new fare boxes on our entire bus fleet. Installation will take place over several weeks, so you may continue to see and use the old equipment on some of our buses until the upgrade is complete. One of the major benefits of the new fare boxes is its ability to accurately collect ridership data to help us plan service around your travel needs. In this video, I will explain the basic features of our new fare box and what you can do to ensure correct fare payment and quick boarding. So if you're ready, let's get started. With the new fare box, VTA day passes will now be issued directly from the fare box in the form of limited use smart cards. When using this new day pass on subsequent bus trips, simply tag it on the smart card reader located on top of the fare box. It's that simple. You will no longer need to show the day pass to the operator. Place all bills in the bill validator slot, which accept all US bills up to $20. Please ensure that your bills are unfolded and in good condition to avoid being rejected by the fare box and to speed up the boarding process. Like before, VTA does not provide change, so paying with exact fare is highly recommended. The new fare box also has an easy to use coin slot that will take all US coins, including pennies. Ensure that you drop the coins one at a time so as to not jam the fare box and unnecessarily delay your trip. A magnetic swipe reader is another feature which you will encounter on the new fare boxes. The swipe reader allows the fare box to read magnetically encoded passes from other transit agencies. You will only use this feature if you are boarding with a Highway 17 Express Pass or a pass from Monterey Salinas Transit. Please remember that VTA's fare boxes will only read VTA, Highway 17, and Monterey Salinas Transit Passes. If you are using Clipper, you need to tag your Clipper card onto the separate Clipper reader mounted next to the fare box. Now that we have given you a quick introduction to VTA's new fare boxes, let's talk about how to pay your fare with cash, transfers, or a day pass. If you are using cash to pay for a single ride fare, here's what to do. Insert coins and or currency as needed to pay the cost of a single ride. Inform the operator if you qualify for a discount fare and be ready to provide proof of eligibility if requested. If you are using cash to pay for a day pass, here's what to do. Insert coins and or currency as needed to pay the cost of the day pass. Once full payment is received, the day pass will be dispensed through the dispensing slot at the top of the fare box. The back of the day pass will be printed with the fare category and date for which it is valid. This same information is also encoded onto the ticket itself. If you have already purchased a VTA day pass, you can use this day pass to ride other VTA bus or light rail only on the day you purchased it. To ride another bus, simply tag your day pass on the smart card readers located on top of the fare box and you're good to go. After tagging your day pass, please proceed to your seat. If you ride VTA light rail later that day using your valid day pass, simply show the fare inspector that day pass as proof of purchase. If you are using paper monthly passes or senior disabled RTC cards with a valid sticker, please continue to present that pass or card to the bus operator. You can learn more about these new fare boxes by visiting our website at www.vta.org slash farebox. You can also contact VTA Customer Service at 408-321-2300. Thank you for taking the time to learn about VTA's new fare box. We are excited about this upgrade that will help improve our service and make your ride as comfortable and easy as possible.